a year of cool Collabora online and of course some details about a mobile i'm uh, cornaus marketing lead at uh, Collabora, uh and uh, we are going to show you some things about the good stuff in Collabora online last year uh of course uh Collabora productivity i think it's well known already introduced last year it, it's really about uh, dedication to open source and bringing the goodness to uh, the business world uh, organizations that they are possible to invest some of their money in good free software uh, that's about us and when i talk about collabora online a lot a lot has been used uh, been done uh, by, by the community around collabora online uh, in usability user interface file support performance features etc etc and let's see how much I can show of all that goodness. First, the usability and the user interface. Um, a lot of details have been done to make it really look smoothly and attractive, easy to find. It's when you talk about uh, the rendering, uh, although this image doesn't show it, but <laughs> the rendering of, uh, of spreadsheets, um, details in, in text files, in, in sh where uh, uh, borders are, areas start and end in uh, interfaces, in buttons, in pop-ups, in sidebars, all has been continuously improved and it shows, I think. Another major uh, uh, new feature of the last year has been the uh, notebook by user interface choices there's more choices um, and a lot of tabs a lot of clean easy to use buttons menus and as you can see at the bottom it shows that it's also by double clicking on the tab uh, the whole notebook bar collapses giving the user more space to work actually in the file uh, it's not only that we have the notebook bar but the classic mode so the simple menu and uh, and the, the icons it is retained and it can be config it is configurable and it can be turned on by default there is some noise going on here or somewhere um file support and interoperability EPUB export in Writer is new. So EPUB has been added uh, to uh, to the files recently, uh, to, to Writer recently, and now you can also export online to EPUB. Uh, ODF 1.3, it's new. It has a wide support and of course also in Collabora Online. New feature is to export to CSV files in Calc. Importing is already possible for some time with a great dialogue with a lot of choices to set all the import, uh, uh, the import settings you need, but export is possible now too. Then of course, uh, talking about interoperability, PowerPoint is one of the spear points. Uh, so an impress PowerPoint we talk about headers and footers and uh, we talk about smart art graphics we talk about shapes um all kind of goodness that has been improved the last year and of course when you look uh, to interoperability um it also means that often there is a user interface component that has been added to make working possible with new features this is another one uh, done by gilsa uh, custom geometry effects so that it's really imported as it is created in some other software then performance uh, there's a lot really lot to say about it uh, yesterday noel talked about it and in half an hour Michael will talk about it and it's it's on server side but it's also faster work in the browser in JavaScript 
And for example, your spreadsheet gets faster and your notebook bar will be loaded faster. More on that in half an hour. Ah, here is uh, just some nice graphs showing how much improvement can be done by some testing and tooling. Then talking about features in Writer, there's a whole lot of features improved there. One of the things, for example, drop down list in form fields. We all know the form fields, it's, it's, uh, it is a sort of historic, um, how do you say, artifact or something. It, it exists for a long time, but it's still in use. And it is wonderful that you can use it online now as well. Gutter margins, I think this has been mentioned recently. This means that in, in the writer documents, you can easily choose to uh, set a gutter position, which is very, very handsome for printing. Then one of my favorite new features of the last year is uh, the, uh, the control, the full control of the anchoring of images and text flow, images and shapes. Uh, as you know, uh, Collabora Online is, is outstanding. Uh, it, it, it's, it's marvelous how it handles um, the, uh, the, the the images online, how you can move them, how the uh, how it it's fully WYSIWYG. Uh, it it's easy to handle, and that has even even be improved now with the context menu to set anchor, to set wrapping, and to arrange um, all shapes and images. And you can e also see the anchoring now. Uh, it's one of my favorite uh, favorite features, uh, of course, since I love to work with images. And then Calc. There's been major improvements in Calc as well. Here you see three panes, three panes. So when you have a large spreadsheet, thousands of rows, you will be happy to set the first one, two, three, four rows, whatever, to freeze those and to be able to work uh, in a, in a very uh, easy way to understand where you are looking at. It has been enabled in online the last year. Um, with larger spreadsheets, there are more sheets and you want to move them, copy them, uh, rename them, etc. And this uh, slide is showing you the great uh, user interface that has been improved, looks marvelous and is very easy to use. Talking about spreadsheet, larger spreadsheets, obviously in, in data sets, we need pivot tables. And the, the, the pivot tables were already present for some time, but there were strong limits or uh, there were real limits in what you could do with pivot tables. Now it's easier to either create them and to customize the uh, pivot tables and as you see uh, with these uh, screenshots, it, it, it's really every dialogue, every choice, every sub choice, etc. In every detail, you can handle private tables online. Or maybe I should say in nearly every table, but I haven't seen anything that doesn't work. Then another thing, uh, defining range just in online. Um, in spreadsheets, range names are important. Um, and the good thing is that this also allows in the correct dialogue, when you find that, to use print ranges in online. And print ranges is not only to send it to that printer, but you all know that it also helps to do a good PDF file. So print ranges online, I think it's, it's, it's one of the outstanding distinctive features of Collabora Online again. Um, then charge. Uh, I mentioned them in Calc, but obviously you have charts in Writer and you have them in Impress, etc. And the sidebar allows you to make uh, a lot of changes in, in titles, in all the settings. It's, uh, it's easy to use and this has been brought to mobile phones as well. 
more goodness for calc there's a whole set of uh, analyzers statistical tools that has been brought in a dialogue to online and then let's flow to Impla impress uh, tables have been improved more powerful easier to use also including shadows uh, headers and footers has have been extended more easy to use and more details. Uh, smart art graphics already mentioned that. And there's also the improved uh, viewing of presentations and also the handling of slides in the sidebar, in, in, in the slides pane on the left, you can easily scroll uh, through all the slides now. Then, Another tool is Draw, and people who know LibreOffice well uh, know that it's strongly connected with Impress. A lot of the features and the interface is shared, but as such, it was not present on online uh, because, of course, it needs a lot of extra user interface elements. But that has been realis realized the last year. Um, here's an overview of Draw with some uh, various sheets in, in one file. Um, and draw is for, obviously for technical drawings, posters, brochures, etc. vector graphics. It, it's one of my uh, favorite, again, a very favorite tool, must have to do with the images. And um, of course, when you want to use draw, you are happy that you can make drawings with connectors, for example. So there has been made a whole lot of connectors available. And since we talk about an office suite that allows us to, well, to work consistently, um, all these connectors also are available in Writer and Calc. And Drawing online, we mentioned font work. Uh, uh, it's an old tool, still popular to make nice, funny, uh, wavy, and complex texts. It has been brought to online. It is a, uh, visible in the sidebar. The, the tooling for to to work with it, the the settings. Uh, it has been brought to mobile devices. And it's not only in Draw, it's also in Writer and in Impress that you can, and in Calc, that you can use font work now. Then there's some various, hey, what I said, font work is not Draw only, it's also in Writer, Calc and Impress. Very well said. Then we have the PDF search and annotations. Uh, it, it's not only that you can create PDF files in Collabora Online, but you also are able to do search and now add annotations to PDF files. So this allows you to collaborate on PDF files that you have uploaded somewhere in, in your share online. And uh, with Collabora Online, it's now possible to actually collaborate on those. Another feature that is interesting, and I guess not all sys admins are happy with it to allow it, but it's VBA star basic macros are uh, available in online. As I said, it, it's not something that all people will allow you to use, all sys admins, so clearly it has been disabled by default. And the administrator, she, he can enable, and obviously set the security level but it works it allows you to run um to to open a dialog uh, run macros etc of course um the whole interface options and 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 because of the nature of of the online application it's not possible to have um how, how should i say all automating uh, that you can have on a desktop. So it is really uh, good to use it for 
uh, macros that are uh, designed to run on the spreadsheet, in this case, in online. Uh, but it does work, and it is useful for uh, tasks that are, well, nasty to do and uh, need to be done more and more often. Uh, you could have macros for that. PDF scrolling. So large PDF files, scroll through them continuously without having to click or press page down again and again. And I think there's even more news, multiple slide selection in the slide pane, uh, steps on and stuff on rulers, uh, tables in writer and impress from the menu now. Uh, shape wrapping uh, to the background, uh, date formats and calc, it, it, it's more and more. And then I think I have one or two things to show on the integration on the server side, but that, that, that's really for people who work on the integration of Collabora Online. It, this shows you that there is the possibility to do some settings there to create uh, the environment to show it as you will uh, would like to have it. So here is basically the same uh, file, but with some changes in the integration. And then coming to the last slide gradually, here's something about mobile devices. The mobile phone updates, um, page panel setup has been added, step stops, word count, page setup uh, on phones as well, table dialogues from the menu on tablets. Um, there, there, there's a lot of effort put continuously in, in improving the interface uh, for Android uh, and iOS. And it's, it's fun to see that um, it, it, it works both ways, or let me even say three, three ways. Sometimes uh, stuff needs to be improved on, on a mobile device, and it means that some basic uh, improvements have to be made in online, which may result in improvements that need to be made in LibreOffice Core. So th there's a chain of, of changes sometimes that uh, results in more goodness uh, left and right. There's a notebook bar, a notebook bar. That's that's something that's not good, but a notebook bar on tablets, uh, CDK font support, dark mode, uh, opening passwords. Well, dark mode, it, it's initially to see how it works, but we're not clearly not done. Pivot tables, faster document handling. And one of the important announcement of last year was the Chromebook support, obviously important for students, schools, to have confidence files, their privacy, not to depend on the use of Google of Microsoft, uh, but giving them freedom of choice. It's uh, it's affordable um, and it, it provides a really rich interface. Uh, a lot of uh, things that people can do, and, and it's an excellent file support, as you know. The, the number of, of the, the amount of files and the way it is handled in uh, LibreOffice and Collabora Online, it's, uh, it's outstanding. So it's good to celebrate that. And while we are celebrating, this is a nice picture from... I think it was from Spain, uh, Almeria, the conference uh, with a large part of the team and partners and volunteers that's uh, shown here. And I think we all look forward to meet you in person the next year. Thanks for listening. Thanks for your support. And please let me know if there's any questions. Thank you very much, Cor. Uh, yeah, I can only echo uh, the slide before last. Uh, yeah, uh, looking forward to meeting yeah. person again. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so we have about uh, seven and a half minutes left for questions. So please, uh, I don't see any question on um, 
on the chat. So if you have any questions, please, please leave them at hash libacon iPhone room one. Um, maybe I can yeah. jump in and. Uh, it, it, uh, it, it all shows clear, one would say. Yeah, it's, I, I must say it's, it's uh, I mean, it, it's quite impressive, uh, like how all shiny and uh, I mean, it's, I see a lot of changes uh, and yeah, that's quite impressive. That's quite cool. Yeah. Thanks for that. Good to hear. And, uh, maybe one like um, naive questions was about this uh, security level that you were talking about. Uh, yeah. I didn't write down the slide number, but. Uh, about the uh, BBM macro support. Yeah, yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, can you expand a bit on that? Like, what is it? Is it that um, I mean, people just want to kind of uh, have better uh, defense in depth and they don't want to activate uh, like a bit high code or like things that might be buggy or? Uh, because... I, I, I didn't get your full question, but uh, about the security level, it, it is. Uh, it is. Uh, the same as um, uh, yeah, it must must be the same as as you have in the desktop uh, application, and it it clearly uh, should be that it, it's it's about uh, trusted uh, macros uh, in etc. Right. Et, et yeah, yeah, it, 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 you don't want people to have uh, run uh, random uh, macros in an online application, although. Um, I, uh, we didn't tell something about that now, but if, if you look at the, the whole architecture of, of uh, 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 the online application, there's quite some security and safety yeah. goodness around it. it it's not uh, just random, uh, <laughs> but yeah, but but still, you, you don't want um, uh, random code to be executed. Yeah, so. I see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but this is why I was asking a question because I. Yeah. I remember you showing that you already have pretty good uh, isolation between the uh, LO4 kit processes and uh, the different, how yeah. the thing interact with each other, like several layers uh, of uh, isolation there. So, yeah. okay. But yeah, so that's one one more thing to tweak then. Okay. 